Hello and welcome back to the Umbrella Academy. I am Mir Niaz. In this lecture we will discuss mechanism of halohydrin formation. Regiochemistry of halohydrin formation. Stereochemistry of halohydrin formation. Possibility of synaddition product along with antiproducts. Problems on halohydrin formation. When bromination occurs in a non-nucleophilic solvent, such as CHCl3, the result is the addition of Br2 across the pi bond, as seen in the lecture on halogenation of alkene. However, when the reaction is performed in the presence of water, the high-energy bromonium ion intermediate, that is initially formed, will be captured by a water molecule before having a chance to react with a bromide ion. To form the oxonium ion, called so because oxygen is bearing a positive charge. Although some dibromide product is likely to be formed as well. The resulting oxonium ion is then deprotonated to give the product. The net result is the anti-addition of Br and OH across the alkene. The product is called a bromohydrin. When chlorine is used in the presence of water, the product is called a chlorohydrin. These reactions are generally referred to as halohydrin formation. In most cases, halohydrin formation is observed to be a regioselective process. Consider this unsymmetrical alkene, this is less substituted end, and this is more substituted end. The addition occurs as per our extended Markovnikov statement, that is, electrophile Br positive adds to less substituted end and hydroxyl group adds to more substituted end. Thus this product is formed, whereas this one is not observed. The proposed mechanism for halohydrin formation can justify the observed regioselectivity. The first step is same as in halogenation, that is, formation of three-membered halonium ion. This is then captured by water, rather than halide anion as is the case in halogenation, which opens the three-membered halonium ion on more substituted side, same as in case of halogenation reaction. The result is oxonium ion, which is then deprotonated by water to form halohydrin. In the end, halogen is attached to less substituted carbon and hydroxyl to more substituted carbon. We have seen that in the second step of the mechanism, the bromonium ion is captured by a water molecule. Focus carefully on the position of the positive charge throughout the reaction. Think of the positive charge as a whole, or more accurately, a site of electron deficiency that is passed from one place to another. It begins on the bromine atom and ends up on the oxygen atom. In order to do so, the positive charge must pass through a carbon atom in the transition state. In other words, the transition state for this step will bear a partial carbocationic character. This explains why the water molecule is observed to attack the more substituted carbon. The more substituted carbon is more capable of stabilizing the partial positive charge in the transition state. As a result, the transition state will be lower in energy when the attack takes place at the more substituted carbon atom. The proposed mechanism is therefore consistent with the observed regioselectivity of halohydrin formation. Let us predict the major products for the following reaction. The presence of water indicates halohydrin formation, addition of Br and OH. This is less substituted end, and this is more substituted end of the unsymmetrical alkene. The first step is to identify the regiochemical outcome. Recall that the OH group is expected to be positioned at the more substituted carbon. 
The next step is to identify the stereochemical outcome. In this case, two new chirality centers are formed. Therefore, the product molecule can exist in four enantiomers. These can be written as In 1, both bromine and OH will be above the plane, so that hydrogen and methyl will be down the plane. The second will be having stereochemistry opposite to this one. That is bromine and OH down the plane, so that hydrogen and methyl above the plane. The third will be having bromine down the plane and OH above the plane. That means hydrogen will be above the plane and methyl down the plane. The fourth will have stereochemistry opposite to third one. That is, bromine above the plane and OH down the plane, so that hydrogen down the plane and methyl above the plane. The first two are products of syn addition, whereas, last two are products of trans or anti addition. Since halohydrin is anti addition of Br and OH, therefore we expect only the pair of enantiomers that would result from anti addition. The syn addition enantiomers are not formed in this case. Thus, halohydrin is stereospecific reaction. That is, the OH and Br will be installed on opposite sides of the pi bond. When drawing the products of halohydrin formation, make sure to consider both the regiochemical outcome and the stereochemical outcome. It is not possible to draw the products correctly without considering both of these issues. Consider the following examples. The first step is to consider the regiochemistry. This is less substituted end and this is more substituted end. Therefore, bromine is placed here and ethanol is placed on more substituted carbon. Now consider stereochemistry. Since two chirality centers are generated, therefore, product can exist in four stereoisomers. Only the enantiomers in which bromine and nucleophile are anti to each other will be formed. In one, bromine will be down the plane, so that ethoxy group is above the plane. The hydrogen here will be above the plane and methyl here will be down the plane. The other enantiomer will be having stereochemistry opposite to the first one. In this second example, the products can be written in the same way. First regiochemistry, bromine on less substituted end, and hydroxyl on more substituted end. Now the stereochemistry of the product can be written by writing the enantiomeric pair, in which bromine and OH are anti to each other. In this case, in the same manner as before. The product can be written with bromine on less substituted carbon and nucleophile ethylamine on more substituted carbon. Only one chiral center is generated in the product, therefore, product can exist as a pair of enantiomers. In one, the nucleophile will be above the plane and in other, it will be down the plane. In the lecture on halogenation of alkenes, we have seen that cis-2-butene on halogenation gives an enantiomeric pair as product, whereas trans-2-butene gives a single meso compound as product. In contrast, during halohydrin reaction, both cis and trans-2-butene give enantiomeric pairs as products. For example, trans-2-butene, upon treatment with bromine in water, will form an enantiomeric pair as products, just like cis-2-butene. No meso product is formed, since the products do not have mirror plane of symmetry. This is obvious because two different group, that is, bromine and OH are added across alkene. Upon 180 degrees rotation across C2-C3 bond, to bring the terminal methyl groups on same side, we can clearly see that the compounds don't have any internal mirror plane of symmetry. Thus, unlike halogenation of trans-2-butene where single meso-compound is formed, 
in case of halohydrin reaction, trans-2-butene gives a pair of anti-enantiomers as products. When trans-1-phenylpropene is treated with bromine, some syn addition product is also observed along with the anti-product. The formation of anti-products can be understood through the three-membered holonium ion mechanism. The formation of small amount of syn products is possible only if a free carbocation is formed as intermediate. Till now, we have seen that holonium ion is the intermediate which develops partial ionic character and is opened by a halide anion or any other nucleophile. The wavy lines show that bromonium ion can form on top as well as bottom face. The formation of free carbocation is unlikely. But in this particular example, formation of some free carbocation is possible if the bromonium ion opens before the attack of bromide anion. The driving force for this is the formation of resonance stabilized carbocation. This carbocation, being trigonal planar, can be attacked from either side by bromide anion, so that a minor amount of syn addition products is also formed along with anti products.